let's go! Well, hey guys, Zach Hample here with you in the car, creeping along, stuck in traffic in Florida, heading over to Sarasota, an Orioles spring training game. Crappy weather all day, we weren't even sure if this game was gonna get played, and we are probably not even going to make it to the stadium in time for first pitch, which, you know, not my favorite way to go to a game, but there definitely was not any batting practice today. And I took advantage of the time by doing a big radio interview at iHeartRadio. So look for that video, that's a whole separate thing. So yeah, just gonna go check out another stadium, hopefully find a way to get a baseball at some point. And uh, yeah, when we arrive in Sarasota, we're just gonna hit the ground running and get in the stadium as quickly as possible. So just talking to you right now. So we'll see how it goes. Little duct tape. Where the do you park? <laughs> How about a scoreboard update? Do we know? I just did look it up. Uh, top of the third inning, Red Sox are winning three to two. So uh, let's go try to buy some tickets and make something happen. Hello. Yes. Yeah. Hope I'm not too late to buy a couple for tonight's game. Okay. There's no arriving in the third inning discount. 58 bucks. Wow. Damn bugs in Florida. So, there's what we got. Uh oh, something's happening. Scan it quick. Thank you. Enjoy, guys. All right, so there are two outs. Hey, how's it going? We are going to throw on the Red Sox hat and try to get on the board with the third out ball. Space in the walkway, pretty much right behind home plate. Not a bad spot to chase foul balls, right? So let's go to the Orioles side and see where our actual seats are. Yeah? How you doing? that go straight up are tough because it looks like they're shooting straight back but then the spin takes it back towards the field which is why you'll see major league catchers they'll run back and then turn around because they know that the ball's going to curve back to them so what's up oh yeah so his name's easton easton like the e-a-s-t-o-n yeah what's up <laughs> man, i appreciate that did you get this today? Yeah. Nicely done. We just ordered four of your shirts too offline. So. Really? Here you go. Oh my god, Zach. Oh my god. Oh my god. Zach Ripple. What's up? I might get zero baseballs today, but. No offense, but you're going to have to take your thing down there. Dude. Too many people. Okay. Like I said, I might get zero baseballs, a foul ball. you but I'm go. having fun. Sorry. That's a, I'm sorry about that. Wow. I'm so sorry to distract you. 
Zach, we did it. Can I get a picture of you, please? We got him. Absolutely. <laughs> there it is. The most elusive hey guys, man. let's go down here so we don't yes. we don't drive this poor man crazy. Let's go chop it up. <laughs> Thanks. Yes. All right. Yeah, let's just go down this way. All right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's it. Yeah. Is that out? Go ball. Zach, have you gotten anything today? <laughs> no, I got here in the third inning, so I still have a goose egg. That's tough. Yes, it is. We were trying to find you in 2018. Say hi to YouTube, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That was the ball that ended the top of the fifth inning. All right, I feel even better about life than I did five minutes ago. Ben Carhart. What's up, man? Three days in a row. What's up? You're just a big O's fan now. You want to say hi to YouTube? What up, YouTube? Ben Carhart, everybody. The Orioles. Baby. The man. Follow this man on Instagram. You can see it there on the screen. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Zach. No, thank you. Where are you guys going? The game's not over. There's the man. Right there. Ben doing his thing. That's why the movie is called what it is. It's Zach Nample versus the world. Because there's so many people out there that that uh, give me a lot of grief. Ed Smith Stadium opened in 1989 and it was renovated in 2011. And you know, it still feels like an old school retro ballpark. Now, the ushers here are super chill and have no issue with fans wandering through the walkways, so that's what I've been doing for the last couple innings. I checked out the upper concourse behind home plate. Not too many people up there, and there's one lonely concession stand at the end. And the lower concourse, I guess, is pretty nice with a bunch of Orioles flags hanging and other things to look at, but it's a closed concourse, meaning you can't see the field from there. That's a telltale sign of an older design, so it'll be interesting to see if this ballpark gets completely replaced someday. For right now, we are in the eighth inning. Orioles are on top, seven to five. And I'm out in left field, because I haven't been out here yet all night, and who knows when I'm gonna be back. So, just heard the crowd shouting about something. So yeah, just gonna hang here for a bit and close out the game. We have a final here tonight in Sarasota. The Orioles beat the Red Sox 8-5. to 
And man, this was a quick night at the ballpark. That's what happens when you arrive in the third inning. And who knows, someday, hopefully soon, if MLB institutes a pitch clock, every game will feel this short. I know Fenway Chris would like that. Yep. <laughs> and so, as you guys saw, just one baseball for me tonight. Glad to have gotten that one. So my, my four totals for the stadiums in spring training, if I'm getting this right, were 11 in Bradenton, 26 in Lakeland, 15 in Tampa, and one here tonight in Sarasota. But again, that's what happens when you show up late. So um, one more day at spring training tomorrow, clear water, got to do some media stuff in the morning. So probably not getting there until like the fifth inning. It'll be even tougher to catch a ball. So tune in to see if I make it happen. Thanks for watching, guys.